Queensland's been chosen as the hub to produce hundreds of armoured vehicles that'll protect Australian soldiers in combat zones. A German company has won the $5 billion contract, beating a rival British bid, which would have been based in Victoria. Here's defence reporter Andrew Green. Robust, heavily armoured and deadly. The German-designed Boxer CRV's just been chosen as Australia's next generation of combat vehicles. It's Army's largest ever single acquisition. This is about lethality and survivability. This is about capability and protection. We've uh, put them in the heat, we've put them in the cold. We've put them in the wet, we've put them in the dry. We've shot at them, we've tried to blow them up. 211 are on order with production to be based outside Brisbane. But Ryan Mattel will build the first 25 in Germany. The government insists hundreds of jobs will also be created outside Queensland. Queensland. <laughs> Sorry, good. Not one state has won this contract. The nation has won uh, this contract. Victoria, still reeling from the loss of its car industry, had pinned its hopes on a rival bid from BAE Systems. It seems that the Prime Minister for Sydney will lose no opportunity in doing Victorians in. It's come after a very thorough three-year examination and trials process and uh, the outcome's a good one. The Land 400 project's just the latest in what will become a $200 billion makeover of defence equipment. It also demonstrates that contractors are growing more savvy about what it takes to win. Two years ago, Queensland wasn't on Ryan Mattel's radar at all, but with a swag of marginal seats and coalition MPs eager to back it, the company switched to the north. The recruitment of prominent war hero Ben Robert Smith was also an investment in politically targeted lobbying. The next project for Army is to replace its ageing armoured personnel carriers. Another $15 billion prize up for grabs, and Queensland's now in the box seat. Andrew Green, ABC News, Canberra.